The 2024 Grand National Cross Country Racing Series heads to Mount Morris, Pennsylvania for round number eight, the Mason Dixon. Josh Merritt made history and put his name in the books as an XC1 Pro winner at round seven, along with a podium finish from Wyatt Wilkin. Walker Fowler had some bad luck and found himself at the backside of the top 10, while Bryson Neal put it back on the podium and maintained that points lead. What's gonna happen here at round eight? It's time to find out right now on Racer TV. Hello everyone and welcome to the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC Round 8 of the 2024 Progressive Grand National Cross Country Racing Series. We're in beautiful Mount Morris, Pennsylvania. My name is Zach Heron and I'm excited to be bringing you the race coverage right here on Racer TV. A lot of buzz coming into Round 8 so we've got to show you exactly what happened at Round 7 with our specialized race recap and man was it a fun one. Here you can see side by side coming into turn two, your defending champ Bryson Neal and the number five of Josh Merritt. And this, I think we're gonna look back as the ride where Josh Merritt officially arrived. He showed up and showed that he is a guy not to be messed with. He means business and he's here to compete for those XC1 Pro wins, along with fellow friend, fellow training partner, Wyatt Wilkin. There you see him on screen coming by. The 621, absolutely on a roll, had a ton of great riding, consistent riding throughout the day. Look at the gap that these two had opened up over the rest of the field. So so big, our camera operator had to do a double take, check exactly what was going on. As there you see the number five, Josh Merritt, out front leading the way. And this was the battle, coming all the way down to the final lap, splashing their way through the water side by side at some points, even having to step off of the machines and go backwards on the course. Yes, you heard that right, folks. The battle was so tight. There you see off the machines pushing, trying to get those ATV up the hill. They ended up having to back them back down the hill, take the long way around. But here it is, the final corner, and history was made as Josh Merritt put his name in the books as an XC1 Pro winner. The emotions were there, and it was cool to see not only Josh's emotions, but the rest of the field as well celebrating his first win. Wyatt Wilkin grabbing second, Bryson Neal rounding out the podium, and a tough day for Walker Fowler. Let's hear from your winner, Josh Merritt. Love to see that emotion from Josh as we get ready to throw the flag here at round eight. Two hours of battle set for these XC1 Pro Riders and headed into turn one. It looks like it's the number eight of Steven Harrell doing a great job up on two wheels at one point in turn one, but Walker Fowler trying to make a quick move around the outside. You know he wants to show what he's capable of, especially after that tough performance at round seven, but Harrell gonna hang on to it, fights back gets up in the mix and you can see some close battling already up front as they head into the woods. Little different conditions as well as you see some dust flying through the air. There it is, the number eight, Stephen Harrell out front leading the way, Walker Fowler just behind them. Welcome back the Cole train, Cole Richardson returning to GNCC Racing, showing off that number three that he earned last year and trying to just jump in and get in the mix, not really in the fight for the title, but trying to show that he's still got the speed and got what it takes to run up front with the best of the best. As we flash now to the XC2 Pro-Am class, looks like that might have been Owens up front early. And behind him, possibly Alex Tiemann in the mix as well. Great shot here from our Yamaha live drone as we Look back now to the front of the pack. Harrell, been talking about this 2024 season, a lot of learning going on as it's his first full season here with the XC1 riders. A lot different pace intensity compared to racing in that XC2 class. So a lot of learning going on 
for the number eight as it does look like Bryson Neal a little further in the pack than we're used to seeing him early, about that sixth or seventh place position. There you see Harrell taking some different lines. Fowler, Richardson, Chris Borch in the fourth place spot. Looks like John Glotta Jr., Wyatt Wilkin. Then you see Bryson Neal. So already he's made a couple of moves and is going to try to keep marching forward to get inside that top five and fight for a podium. Adam McGill not having the start that he was looking for, but let's take it slow-mo. There it is, Walker Fowler trying to take the long way around, but Stephen Harrell will not be denied. And grabs that XC one hole shot. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized, specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to round number eight, the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC. And there it is, Stephen Harrell out front leading the way, Walker Fowler, and Cole Richardson trying to chase them down. But look at this, the number one, Bryson Neal, the Bidwell Bullets, moved into the fourth place position, and he's got the podium in sight. The rest of your XC1 field still relatively close together. On the lookout, there we see the Gator. And looking to see Josh Merritt, how he's able to respond after the high of winning his first XC1 Pro event. Looks like Walker Fowler starting to apply the pressure to Harrell. We'll see what he's able to do. Cole Richardson and Bryson Neal, we saw these two do some battle last year. Bryson Neal is going to say, hey, Coltrane, welcome back to racing. Let me show you how much things have not changed. As back up front, Fowler putting the pressure on. I'll tell you what, one thing I love about Cole Richardson, though, whether he's done this whole series or not, He's a competitor. He shows up and he's not going to let anybody by, whether you're the number one or the 621, whoever you are, you're going to have to fight your way around Cole Richardson. So speaking of the 621, there was Wyatt Wilkin, Hunter Hart trying to get up in the mix as well. You know, Hunter's looking to put some solid results together this season. And Neil makes the pass around Richardson. Going to try to chase down Walker Fowler. And that is the last thing you want if you're Fowler is to have a rear view mirror full of Bryson Neal. Seems like Neal has been able to answer the call for any one of these riders. There you see Hunter Hart kind of in no man's land. Nobody just in front or behind of him. Some great open sections here on this Mason Dixon course allows our drone to give us a great idea as to where. And look at that. Wow. You blink and you'll miss it. What a pass. Great coverage from the live drone as absolutely just making it happen. Walker Fowler looked like Harrell went just a little deep into that corner. Fowler set it up beautifully, cut it underneath him. So now Walker Fowler takes over the lead. And look at this. Richardson has gotten back around Bryson Neal as does Hunter Hart. So maybe some issues for Bryson Neal. Not sure what happened but last time we saw him, he was in front of both Hart and Richardson. There you see Wyatt Wilkin. He's trying to get up in this top fight, top five fight. And meanwhile, Fowler says, you guys can fight all you want over second place. I'm going to try to peace out with this win. And I think part of that is that he knows the number one of Bryson Neal isn't far back there. Harrell, once again, got to give him credit. Hanging tough in the second place spot. Clearly the speed is there. But look at this fight as now Bryson Neal having to go on the defense, trying to hold off Hunter Hart. Meanwhile, they're chasing down Cole Richardson. So very similar to what we saw in the 2023 season. The three of those riders swapping wins, going back and forth for podium finishes. We were talking about all of last year if we could have gotten that guy, Walker Fowler, into the mix, made it a four-rider fight. Asking you shall receive is, man, this XC1 Pro battle in the 2024 season has been a ton of fun. Look at the gap that Fowler has already opened up. Harrell maintaining the second-place position. Does look like both Hart 
and Neal were able to get around Cole Richardson. So not sure if that was a mistake or maybe just a little bit of fatigue starting to set in for the Cole train. But now we see Neal. Actually, that's Fowler on screen. He's trying to do damage early. You saw how much of a gap he had started to open up. It really seems like he dropped the hammer once he got around Stephen Harrell. And this is why, folks. Now the number one has made the pass into second place. And it is mano y mano, man versus man, Neil versus Fowler at the front of the XC1 Pro Field. So this is going to be fun to watch. There you see Cole Richardson still in a very respectable top five position. Looks like Hunter Hart going to move around him for the fourth place spot. And almost immediately you see Neil start to cut into that lead Fowler had built up. Water bottle hanging. Like we said, a little different conditions compared to round seven. Some dust in the air, but once you get in the woods, get a little bit of shade coverage, we've got some great conditions. You can see the line selections that these riders are able to take, really giving them the opportunity to try some different things out. And the creativity allowing for some great passes to be made as Stephen Harrell now hanging on to the fourth place spot. Cole Richardson trying to chase him down along with Josh Merritt just now trying to get into this fight. So Merritt having a slow start here at round eight, but creeping forward along with, looks like that was Wyatt Wilkins just behind him. There you see hanging off the back of that Phoenix Racing Yamaha, Bryson Neal trying to chase down Walker Fowler, and he knows that he's got to cut that gap right now. He cannot wait because Walker Fowler is going to be strong all the way to the finish as Hunter Hart jumps up and says, hey, I'd like to jump up on the podium this year. And Harrell, like we said, got the pen and paper out, taking notes inside this top five here in the 2024 season. There we see, it looks like Wilkin has actually made the pass around Fowler, or around Merritt, I'm sorry. Now we see Less than a bike lane separating them. Incredible job by Bryson Neal to track down Walker Fowler. And it's got to be a little frustrating in the helmet of Walker Fowler right now as well. You know he was putting down a hard pace enough that he thought it wasn't going to allow Neal to chase him down. Next thing he knows, he's got the number one right behind him. So this is what we've wanted to see. One versus one out front. They get into the open section. Hang on to that thing, Walker. Slides it into the pit. Great job there by the WFR team. And we'll wait to see whether Neil is going to stop as well. Two different sides of the pit lane for these two riders. So there you see Neil stops as well on the far side. We head to the Monster Mile. Hang on to it, slideways, Walker Fowler. Whoa, watch out. Bryson Neal taking a quick detour, no line there, backs it up. I think he wanted a sip of Monster Energy real quick, but uh, if he hadn't unleashed the beast already, he will now as man click Neil into gear. Fowler says, hey, I will take the opportunity and run with it as he opens the gap back up maybe a second or two. We'll see how Neil's gonna respond from that mistake. That just shows you how hard the number one of Bryson Neal is pushing to try to chase down Walker Fowler. Very rarely do you see those kind of mistakes as now it looks like Josh Merritt has made his way around the Coltrane and is trying to chase down Hunter Hart. So Hart having some bad luck here in this 2024 season, a, a front runner in 2023. Does a great job of keeping it positive. Look at how pumped up that mud flea is. He said, man, I wanted to get sprayed by one of my favorite riders and I did just that. So Hart and Merritt, that's gonna be a fun battle for the final podium spot, but not interested in the battle right now is Walker Fowler. Says, I do not want to battle for this win. I just want to take it. So he's trying to run away. Meanwhile, the Bidwell Bullet, never afraid of a fight. Hunter Hart feeling the flow. Skying that ATV out just a little bit. Jumping his way through the woods. And did look like he opened it back up on Merritt just a little bit. So Coltrane still in the mix as well. Those two getting a dog fight. You might see Coltrane get a little BOGO action and pick up two spots as there is Harrell and Wyatt Wilkin. Wyatt not quite able to move forward like we know he would be wanting to. He's clearly got the speed and the fitness, but just hasn't quite been able to make those passes here at round eight. Then behind him, 
Looks like that might have been Ronnie Rush. There is the Gator, Adam McGill, along with the rest of your XC1 field. There was Rush, actually. And look at this, folks. Blink and you'll miss it. The fight is on, and it looked like Bryson Neal has found a way around Walker Fowler. This is, I mean, look at those guys hanging off the side of the quads, wide open down the hills, slamming into the ruts. So let's see. You know this is the last thing that Walker Fowler wants. He got that lead. He had opened the gap up a little bit, and now he's got the number one right in front of him. Let's see what he's able to do with it. These two have been in an absolute dogfight. Tons of respect for one another between them, but when the helmet goes on, it's we're not friends anymore. It, it is absolute battle, so these two doing just that. There you see Hunter Hart and Cole Richardson doing some battle as well. Uh, Coltrane and Double H, they went back and forth a couple of times last year, getting a little heated with one another. Obviously nothing... Uh, crossing the line but nonetheless had some words after the races and some some good rivalries there so we'll see whether or not that's going to flare back up in 2024 as Neil making a statement keeping a couple of bike links between himself and Fowler how is Fowler going to respond and there we see now Merritt and Richardson and it looks like they both have been able to make their way around Hunter Hart. So now it is Josh Merritt hanging on to the final podium spot, fighting with Cole Richardson. Hunter Hart trying to hang on for a top five. And Fowler, he's able to see exactly where Neil's going. And it seems like with Bryson, there's never just this glaringly obvious thing that he's doing better than anyone else. It's just 1% better here, 1% better there. Now it looks like Hunter Hart was able to get back around. Was that possibly Cole Richardson that we lost? There is the Cole train. So yes, problems for Richardson. He hands fourth over to Hunter Hart. So the top five is set. Bryson Neal has moved into the number one spot. Walker Fowler trying to chase him down. How's it going to shake out? We're going to get a word from our sponsors, and then we'll see how this Mason Dixon GNCC wraps up. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized. Specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Welcome back to round number eight, the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC. We are just about ready to throw a checkered flag as Walker Fowler is trying to chase down Bryson Neal. Josh Merritt and Cole Richardson fighting over that final podium spot with Hunter Hart rounding out the top five. Coming to the final couple of corners, Neal's made the pass. He's got Walker Fowler all over the back of him, peeking inside, peeking outside, trying to get that Yamaha ATV turn, but it's gonna be too little too late as Bryson Neal is gonna hang on for another win here at the Mason Dixon GNCC. And look at the show of sportsmanship there. Great stuff from both Bryce and Neil and Walker Fowler after two hours of battle, still shaking hands. I love to see it. It's a pretty eventful day. Every lap had a story, but uh, this is this is what you worked for. This is earned. This was a given, and uh, this is the races that mean the most and matter the most. And uh, I'll never forget races like this. This was awesome today. Love to hear the excitement there from Bryce and Neil after grabbing another win. Walker Fowler coming up just a little short of the win, but still a solid day. Let's hear from him. It actually felt really good. Uh, that second lap, I was concerned. I was kind of getting gassed, and and then uh, my heart rate came down, and, uh, man, I rode really well. So, uh, it, like I said, it tried to pop out that, that second lap. I just I caught a I caught a berm really strange, and it yanked the bars out of my hands, and it I felt it kind of give and kind of gritted my teeth and just dealt with it. And actually, I think it swelled up a little bit, and it kind of was holding itself better in place. I'm like, all right, cool, we're good. So off to snowshoe, baby. I'm ready for it. 
Sights already set forward for Walker Fowler. Here is the battle for that final podium position. Josh Merritt has the spot. Cole Richardson trying to take it away from him in the final few corners. Not quite going to be able to do it. Picks a couple of wheels up. But Josh Merritt going to hang on for that third place position. A solid ride for Cole Richardson. Glad to have the Cole train back racing with us here at GNCC. Let's hear from your third place finisher, Josh Merritt. Slowly picked my way through the pack and uh, ended up with third today. Man, this is amazing. I, I don't know how I did it, to be honest with you. I, it was just one pass a lap every you know couple miles and made it work. I, the battles I had with some of the the guys was awesome and uh, then battling Cole and Hunter into the finish line was just great and come away with that pressure and come with third you know I'll, I'll take it man that's that's a good day for the start I had great stuff from Josh as we take a look at your Rocky Mountain ATV MC top 10 overall Cole Richardson Hunter Hart your top five Wyatt Wilkins Stephen Harrell Adam McGill Brandon Owens and Ronnie Rush gonna round out your top 10 Let's take a look at our point standing. Bryson Neal out front leading the way with 222 points to 186 points for Walker Fowler there in second place. So things are not done yet for this XC1 title. Let's take a look at your specialized race recap here from round eight, the Mason Dixon GNCC. Steven Harrell on the number eight, gotta give him a big shout out, grabs the early race lead. And he was up inside that top five fighting for a majority of the race, really getting some great time at the front of the field. Chris Borich getting a good start as well. There you can see Merritt and Neil both not getting the starts that they were looking for, gonna have to pick their way through. Walker Fowler absolutely making the pass happen and getting around Harrell for the lead. And we thought that might be it. He was gonna try to set sell. Steven Harrell trying to sink the hooks into him and tag along as well. Cole Richardson, welcome back to GNCC Racing, was inside the podium for a majority of the race, fighting for that third place spot all the way to the finish. But Bryson Neal, you get him fired up, he gets locked in, and man, he started making passes happen quick, found his way around Walker Fowler, and the table for two was set, and it came all the way down to the finish. The final few corners, Fowler not giving up, fighting tooth and nail, but just not quite gonna be able to make it happen as Bryson Neal is gonna add another win to the tally here in 2024 and gonna try to back up that championship from 2023. Bryson Neal, Walker Fowler, and Josh Merritt, your XC1 Pro Podium from the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC. We'll get ready to head to Snowshoe for our final round before the summer break. Until then, we'll see you guys next time out at the races.